What's happening guys, I'm Aiden from DK Tune. Today's video is on this golf R. We're also joined by Dan, uh, the managing director, and we're gonna be telling you exactly what we've been doing to this absolute weapon of a golf R. What are we running? 530 horsepower at the moment, <laughs> due to come back in and have some more, but this is absolutely crazy, guys. It is absolutely crazy. Talk about is exactly what's happened to this absolute weapon of an engine. So guys, yeah, as you can see, this is running uh, quite extensive modifications on it. Um, we haven't gone as far as fully forging it because, um, because we didn't really want to take it that far. However, we've done pretty much everything else to, to get up to the sort of 530 horsepower mark. It's got the R600 intake kit, which goes straight down to the Venom 550 turbo, which the customer fitted before bringing to us. Absolutely gorgeous. Brilliant turbo, and they've, they've really come along um, in the last couple of uh, years, Venom turbos. They've sort of come out of nowhere, really, and um, they've proven to actually produce some really, really good, good turbos. So they've rated up to 550 horsepower. We're on 530 at the moment. Um, we've also done a lot of other work to this, is we've got APR coil packs, we've got NGK spark plugs in, it's got a 4 inch Traxlag decat downpipe that we've fitted, we've got a DO88 intercooler kit with charge pipe kit on there, really nice kit, first one that we've actually installed, absolutely fantastic quality. We also fitted an RPC motorsport intake uh, manifold. Look uh, at that, guys. See, that's, that's made in Spain. We've actually run in the same, and um, we'll put a link at this point to our um, me botching the one that I fitted to mine yeah, during exactly, lockdown, yeah. Yeah. which didn't go down too well. But um, yeah, it's, it's obviously a blue one instead of a black one that we've got. With this, we've actually used the methanol injection that we've got on there. So we're actually running a devil's own uh, five port meth injection which you'll see across the top all the harnesses across the top here we've exactly got very nicely plumbed in as well yeah absolutely it looks gorgeous really, really good. we've got we've got four ports underneath injecting into the intake manifold and we've got a fifth one just before the throttle body on the charge pipe from the intercooler um, we've also added whilst we had the front end off we had we added a racing line oil cool, cooler which looks absolutely gorgeous it does I think you can yeah, you can just see it through the front of that there, poking through the front. So that's going to keep the engine oil temperatures really low um, and, and really cool, especially if he's going to fash it hard, which hopefully the customer will. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to think if there's anything else, really. Um, we're on stock high pressure fuel pump. Um, we're on stock injectors, even though we have got the RPC billet rail, uh, fuel rail there that we added on as well. Uh, apart from that guys, that's pretty much it with the, in, 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 with the engine. We've got obviously an intercooler on there as well. That came pre, pre on there. So that's pretty much it with the engine. It's been quite extensive work. The meth kit was a nightmare to plumb in. Um, there's been a lot of work involved with this. Um, but yeah, it's running really, really sweet now. We have got a few things that we want it to come back and us to play with it a little bit more, but the customer wants his car back for now. So 530 horsepower, we're quite happy with that. So, also on the front end of this car, guys, we do have Maxton Design Splitter, which looks absolutely gorgeous on the front end of this car. They really do uh, benefit from some nice stance. We've also got the stock wheels, but behind there, we do have some official Gallardo Lamborghini brakes. Um, they're about 12,000 pounds, so these are uh, got some immense stopping power and what bigger discs as well. We've also got Team Hecko wind deflectors, which just finish off the side of this car very, very nicely. And we've also got some little side skirt extenders. At the back, we also have a bigger drilled and grooved disc for more stopping power. Up at the back, we have a spoiler uh, extension. This is probably Maxim design as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so also at the back of the car, Dan failed to mention that that decat is going into a cat back. This is a Miltec Sport valve cap back and it is very loud, providing this car with some awesome pop and bang. Okay guys, so in the interior, it's 
pretty much stuck, but the, the difference between the 7 and the 7.5 obviously is the virtual cockpit. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you that know, is a really gorgeous thing about these golfs. We don't get that in our golf R with the old Mark 7. <laughs> you can obviously do the swap, but uh, we probably won't bother to be honest. But um, this looks race car life. <laughs> yeah, race car. <laughs> it's obviously got the paddle extensions on the back, which look really, really nice. Um, these are actually nice quality ones as well. You can get some cheaper sort of looking ones, which look a bit tacky, I think. But um, yeah, it looks really nice. You've got the paddle extensions on there. Apart from that, it's pretty stock now. You will notice eagle-eyed people in the background. Um, we have actually fitted the MEF controller um, in the glove box. There's a nice area there for it. So nice. that is um, there. It's a bit sort of James Bondy, you know, opening this and adjusting your little gadgets. Um, it's <laughs> nice. It's nice out of the way, and it looks great. We've also got some more 730 mix of um, methanol for the customer to put in his tank. Now, if you follow me around to the back of the car, we have the meth tank in here. Um, so we've sort of fitted it to the side here. It's nice and out of the way. You can obviously still use his, his boot, but um, that looks nice in the back there. And um, obviously he'll need to fill it up fairly soon because we've been doing some, doing some extensive testing on it. Yeah, again, very nicely plumbed in as well. All yeah. for, uh, it's all worth it for the customer. Um, everything's got to look perfect. Yes, yeah, so that's drawing obviously meth right through to the front and injecting it into the engine. So uh, yeah, great, great um, build that we've done on this there. So guys, yeah, we're going to obviously end the video here. This thing's pretty crazy and we think the oh customer's going to love it. Um, yeah. And I'm looking forward to getting it back so we can, you know, push for some more power. Uh, we can work out a few little niggles with it that, that we want to just, just address and then, yeah, make some more power. I'm, I'm actually speechless. <laughs> I can't help it, it's just uh, so fast. It is pretty quick, <laughs> isn't it? But yeah, um, yeah, so for any of your big build golf R needs, obviously get in contact with us. Um, let's create some monsters for you. We did a madness, guys. So, if you like the video, please do hit the like button underneath. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe as well. It helps us out a lot. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.